everyone. I look shocking, my goodness. Um, today is Monday. If I sound slightly sick, it's because I am. Um, I ended up canceling swimming this morning because I've just got a bit of a blocked nose um, and a bit of a headache. And obviously I don't want to get any other kids sick. You can tell my nose is a little bit red. Um, so yes, we canceled swimming this morning, but I still wanted to get Anita out of the house. So, I've decided we're going shopping. <laughs> Cause you know, that's a fun activity. Um, yeah, I just decided that I still wanted to get out of the house. Um, especially, she's been getting quite restless at the minute. If you know, I don't know if I've talked about it, but so far my pregnancy has not been the best. Um, I've been rather sick. I've been fainting. There's been a whole thing. There's been hospital visits. There's been all sorts. Um, which means that I've not been not as present, I don't think that's the right word. I've just not been as available for Anita as normal. I've not been able to do the same things that we normally do. I've not been able to get out of the house as much um, or play as much. And the mum guilt is real, I'm not gonna lie about it. Um, so yes, no, when I canceled swimming this morning, I still wanted to make sure that we got out of the house before her nap. So we're gonna go around the shops. There's not actually anything we need yet. Um, but Farmers, I know, has a sale on. So I'm going to go look at the baby stuff and see. I'm hoping that they've got their monitors on sale. Um, the only, like, big ticket item that we need to get is a monitor. Everything else I've got, pusher. Um, we've already bought the car seat. We've bought the bassinet. Um, obviously, we've got Anita's old cot. <coughs> so the only, like, mommy, mommy, other big... Mommy thing that we need or expensive thing we need yeah baby is a monitor so i'm wondering if they've got them on sale because if they do that would be great if not i'm gonna wait until christmas time um luckily we're in no rush so that's fine but yeah i just thought we'd wander around i thought i'd bring you with you no nope, i thought i'd bring you with me usually this morning i did some tidying some cleaning just my usual stuff that i normally do on a friday and um, that i decided to do this morning instead. So anyway, yes, I thought I'd bring you along with me. Anita also picked her own outfit today, down to that. <laughs> it's the cutest thing. She's got her little black track pants on and her little cardigan, her little shoes. And she insisted on wearing a hat. So obviously that topped the outfit off. So that was very cute. It's getting really difficult to shop, not knowing the gender of the baby. Because everything's super cute, but like, I, this is girly and there's not a lot of like neutral things also a lot of it's wintery stuff because obviously we're going into summer now and obviously the baby's gonna be a summer baby so you like that one for the baby do you that's so lovely really this is the cutest thing and i'm so glad that they don't have it in anita's size because how sweet is that Okay, they've got a similar one in her size. But I don't like this one as much. It's the ruffles. Like, this one's got ruffles. So they have a similar one. But it's not the one that I want. But it's still really cute. I just love the colour. Also, my biggest tip when you have a newborn. Do not buy things with poppers. You will regret it when it is 3am. I promise. They look cute. But they are awful. <gasps> it's a lift. Ah. This one enjoys shopping more than I do. Everything's wow. Yeah. You found a handbag, have you? Wow. I love these skirts, but they're never gonna fit over a bump. So cute. Wow. A new bubble tea place has opened up in town. And I just got this um, peach soda. And oh my god, it is so good. Okay, we are leaving now. I did get a good few things. So I will show you once I get home. Little Miss is super tired and keeps telling me that she's none eyes and wants to go none eyes. So I got my drink and then we left. Well, we're leaving. Um, I'm just hoping she's a full sleep in the car. We live super close to the mall. We live <laughs> two minute drive, three minute drive. Um, so I'm just hoping she stays awake also i'm having a really good skin day at the moment this last week my skin has been 
so good and I think it's because I've started using my vitamin C oil again. Um, I used to use vitamin C and retinol religiously before I had it, um, before I was pregnant. But you can't use retinol when you're pregnant. Yeah, darling. Um, so I stopped and then, but apparently you can still use regular vitamin C, so I've been using that. Um, and I think it's definitely helped clear up my skin. Anyway, we, yeah, we are heading home and I will show you everything I got. Okay, this is an awful place to put you, but this is where we're chilling. Anyway, it's 11 o'clock, I'm back home. Um, I've just put Annie down. First place we went was Farmers. Farmers I did not buy, those are mine. Um, and I didn't realize that I had a $20 voucher, so these literally cost me $15 for both. So I got this little romper um, for Annie. It's size two. I'm hoping it's gonna fit her. I'm not convinced she's quite tall. Um, so I'm hoping it will fit her for summer. Although it is a little bit thicker, so this could work I think in both seasons. Um, however, it does have poppers and she tends to undo poppers. So I'm hoping it's gonna work, but it was um, on sale from $35 down to 15. Um, and then like I said, I had a $20 voucher anyway. So I got that one for Annie. And then I got this little jacket for the baby. Um, this one is, was down from $50 down to $20. And like I said, I had a $20 voucher, so free and just paid for this one. Um, I just thought it was really cute. It's just got little teddy bear ears. It's just the little teddy bear fabric with little orangey rust colored bits on the end. And I thought this would be really cute. So I got that. I got it in size six to 12 months because that's when it's gonna be like wintry. And also even if it's wintry before that, um, I can just put a jumper under it. So a bigger size is fine anyway, so yeah. I got that one. Oh, and then I went to Glassons and I got, I'm literally wearing it because my pants became uncomfy. These two skirts, so I got this one. They're like super long and you totally can't see. Um, and they're linen. So I got the like creamy white colored one and then I got a black one too. Um, they're literally like super long skirts. I don't know how well these are going to go when my bumps are bigger. The top of them definitely stretches, but I'm not sure about specifically this seam right here. But they will also be super great for postpartum anyway. Um, and they're something that I would wear all year round, literally. So I thought that they were great anyway. And they were $49.99 each. And I got them both in size 10. So I got two of those from Lessons. And then last but not least, I bought Annie... Another pair of Crocs. She used to have pink Crocs when she was younger last summer and they were literally the best shoes ever. Um, yes, no, they were literally the best shoes ever. We wore them, we, she wore them all the time to the beach, <laughs> out and about. Um, they're just so good for summer. They're breathable. They're easy to put on and on, on and on, on and off. Um, like it's hot and sweaty. A kid does not want to sit down and put shoes on so yeah these are great i got them in black i really wanted the white ones but they didn't have them in her size and the weather other than today has been really nice recently so i wanted to get them sooner rather than later um and black's fine in reality black's probably a much better color to get because white would get filthy here is a slightly better view of the skirt um it's just super long the lighting's in the super wrong place um but yeah just super long and nice and goes over the bump at the moment, so that's good. I'm hoping that this seems low enough that it'll still go over my bump when it's bigger. We are awake from our naps. I ended up having a nap as well once Anisha went down, but I just wanted to show you. Anisha's better gets me. <laughs> Every time. It's, she just, oh, it makes me giggle and it's just so cute and fluffy. She's having Marmite sandwiches, some pretzels and some fruit sticks for lunch. So I'm gonna make mine. I don't know what I want. Um, nothing sounds good right now. We've got the yawns. Um, yeah, the thought of anything right now. I don't want it. I don't want anything, but I obviously need to eat. And so 
so I'm trying to think of something that sounds like I want to eat it. Good morning everyone, it is literally like three, four days later. Um, I've also done my eyebrows, so hopefully I look a little bit better than I did. Um, today is a super chill day. I have my niece coming over as well to look after her. My sister, that's not my biological sister, but is my sister, um, is currently a nursing student. So I have her daughter every Wednesday um, and we have like cute little fun time. Um, so I have her this afternoon, so I obviously won't be filming that. But I thought I would film this morning, me and my best friend Esme popping into town. She needs to get her boyfriend's birthday present and I need to start looking and thinking about Christmas presents. Um, I absolutely do not like leaving my Christmas shopping till December. Normally I will buy Christmas presents throughout the whole year and have them all stocked and ready because just I want to enjoy Christmas. I don't want it to be stressful. I don't have to think about what I'm buying and things like that. Um, so yes, normally I would probably have them all by about now, but I have literally nothing. I have most of Anita's because I just buy things throughout the year anyway. Um, so yeah, but I've got nothing for anyone else. So I thought that whilst there's quite a few sales on at the minute, because obviously going into uh, summer, we're leaving winter going into summer, um, lots of companies or brands decide to have sales. So I thought we'd have a look around there as well. But anyway, this morning I'm going to start by tidying Anisha's room. It is a mess. And then after that I will show you because I haven't yet shown you Anita's room, I don't think, since it's been done. So yeah, I'm going to tidy it and then I will show you a little tour of her room. Okay, she's playing in here, so who knows how long this is going to last. But this is a little overview of her room. She's also just, I made the bed. The beds, the teddies have been tucked in. <laughs> Ignore it. Um, so yeah, this is a little overview of her room as she's closing the curtains. Great. Um, this is a wardrobe here. Her name is on the door. This is a wardrobe here. Um, however, we don't use it. So, well, we do use it, but we use it as like a storage um, for like household things. So that's why that is in front of it. And this little rainbow thing, literally I got from Shane and it's really cute. So that's that. Um, then I have her chest of drawers. Her chest of drawers is from a brand called TSB Living Online. I know, I know. It's okay, mummy undid them so she can show you them your drawers. I have just, watch out, organized them all into... Mm. Your cranks. She's now in her TP. Um, yes, so these are just from a company called TSB Living. I just got the drawer dividers from Kmart and everything is just organized. And then I borrowed my mum's <laughs> you kind of nice. Borrowed my mum's label maker to um label everything. So this is all her tops in here. Um this is all of her pants and her socks and things. Also, these are what is stopping it from closing. Um, and then we just have her pajamas and jumpers and things. And then they all have the little kitty locks so that she doesn't play with everything. Then on top, um, we just have this picture, which I got from Kmart years ago. It used to be my bedroom at mum's house. And then this is from Cotton On Kids. This, I actually don't know where this is from. Probably Kmart as well, knowing me. Um, and then these drawers are from Kmart. They're a bit grubby, but they just have all of her hair stuff in them. So they've got all her bows and then like her clips and hairbrush and things. And then here is her monitor. Normally it's mounted on the wall up there, but it fell down last night. So I need to go get command strips compared to blue tack to actually attach it to the wall. This is why we have kitty locks on it. Anyway, this teepee is from Kmart and she is obsessed with it. It's the best thing ever. She sits in there with all of her teddies and will read. She's just absolutely obsessed with it. Annie, I need you to be careful, please. Um, Yeah, literally one of the best things we ever bought. Then here is just some of her toys and things. So we just have all of these bucket boxes, buckets boxes down here she's just stuck a sticker on her head um so we have like her miscellaneous toys her dress up toys her soft toys and then her like um what's in this one her doll's clothes and toys and things so that's just all there 
And then we have this. This is from Kmart. She loves it. She got this actually from a friend. Um, and she plays it all the time. She uses it as a slide. She flips it the other way and uses it as like a seesaw. The best. Then we just have her clothing rack. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, hi. I love the sticker. Then here, this um, thing here that's hanging over top of everything, I need to get a command strip to hang it up because that's going to go on the wall up there. But it hasn't been hung up yet. So, yes. Wow. Wow. Um, this is just her shelf, I guess you would say. Um, also, down here is an old duvet, uh, winter duvet, because I'm paranoid about her falling out. And then on this side, when she's asleep, I put all the pillows down as well. Because like I said, I'm paranoid about her falling out. Anyway, this is her bed. Her bed is from TSB Living as well. I got it at the same time I got her chest of drawers. However, I know that Mocha does the same type of bed. Um, I actually wanted to get the Mocha one, but they only had a king single. And I just wanted a regular single because I had already bought the mattress before I bought the bed. Because the mattress was meant to take way longer to get here than the bed was. Um... But they ended up arriving at the exact same time, so that was perfect. Her bedding is just, again, came up. Um, this is actually from a company called, I think it's Fove & Co. Fove? Fave? And Co. Um, I got this one, she, for, actually for her first birthday, but for baby number two, I'm going to get it when they're first born. And it's just, um, it was her, like, little baby blanket that was in her cot and in her push chair. And she loves it. Um, and then this is what above her bed looks like. I got this from a really random small business um, that popped up on it as an Instagram ad. So um, I actually have no idea where it's from. And the bunting, I think, is just from the warehouse. Might be Kmart. As you can tell, I love Kmart in this house. Um, and then there is just a little push chair, which I got from a little small company here um, in Tadamaki from a little store called The Rainbow Co. Yeah, but... I don't actually know what brand does. Does it say? No. But it's the cutest little thing. So, yeah, that is her room. So, yeah, ignoring the state of the bed. Um, this is what her bedroom looks like. This is the tidiest it's ever going to get. Oh, no. I have literally spent all morning cleaning, folding, doing the washing. Every single laundry basket in the house is empty which is a massive win and mine and Hamish's washing is literally piled to the high heavens but it's clean it's folded it's all it's all done for the week anyway and until next week but hey also my outfit for the day I am wearing the um black version of the skirt that I got um well in this vlog actually you'll see that but then I got the day, so I'm wearing the black version. I've just got a cropped black jumper on. This one is from, I should think they're both from Glassons. Um, this is from years ago, and this is obviously new. I've just seen how bad the fingerprints are on the mirror. Anyway, this one is currently playing with the baby's bassinet and putting her doll in there. Oh my goodness, you've lost your mind. Are you doing running? Oh my goodness! Well, the room that will be the baby's room that was Anita's room is currently just a state. There's still pictures in here that I need to put into Anita's room. Her cot, obviously, which we've not turned back into a cot yet. Baby things. Her bike's still in here. Um, clothing that's too small for her that I've literally just thrown in here that I want to keep. Nappies for the baby that we're slowly preparing. Um, I think I've shown you all this before in a previous vlog. Like, there's just this room's estate. Um, also, how cute is this? This is the cutest thing ever. I just love it. I just think it's so sweet. Um, so, yeah, like I've said before, we are doing a... We are doing a um, animal theme in here. Either gender. Um, I think, obviously, if it's a girl, it will be slightly more pink themed just because a lot of the things... Are you closing the door? No, not the door. The curtains. Um, because a lot of the things I have from Anita obviously are pink, like her baby blankets and things are all pink, um, or neutrally coloured, so, just making a cup of tea, um, if it's a girl, obviously I will be reusing them, and so it will probably be like animal with like pink things, otherwise it will be neutrally undertoned and grey undertoned, which is the new things that I've bought already. 
So, anyway, it's getting, I'm currently 18 weeks. I will be 19 weeks on Saturday. It's currently Wednesday. Um, it's gone so fast and so slow at the same time. I think because I'm so busy, obviously chasing after Anita, I haven't like had the time to just sit and think. So I'm sitting there thinking like, oh, we've got so long to do everything. And then I was like, I'm already 18 weeks. And these 18 weeks have gone so unbelievably quickly that I'm like, I should probably get more onto some things. Obviously it's a bit difficult. We don't know the gender yet. So um, we are finding that out. We're not gonna do a gender reveal. We're just gonna find out just the two of us. Um, three of us, including Anita, three and a half, including Anita and Spud. Um, I just wanted to do something really small and intimate. Obviously, I didn't get that with Anita. So um, that's what we're doing for her. Not for her. I keep saying her. I'm convinced it's a girl. So I keep referring to the baby as a she. Whereas Hamish obviously keeps confirming, confirming, keeps referring to the baby as a boy because he thinks it's a boy. Um, so yeah, anyway. Tangent, I need to start getting things slowly sorted because I, like the last 18 weeks have gone so quickly that I know the next 22 weeks are gonna go ridiculously quickly. And I've also been referred to an OBGYN because, um, no, I haven't. I've been referred to an obstetrician. Are they the same thing? Am I being really stupid right now? I think I'm being really stupid. No, because that's a gynecologist. No, I've been referred to an obstetrician. Anita's playing with her um, toys. Because Anita's pregnancy, I have preeclampsia. I also have a heart condition. And I also hemorrhaged with Anita really badly. Um, I lost two and a half liters of blood with her. So I had to get blood transfusions, iron transfusions, all of the above. This time, um, they are monitoring me very early on. So yes, I've been referred to an obstetrician. And I'm really hoping that they're gonna let me go into labor naturally. With Anita, I was induced because of how ill I was. And I mean, it was fine. It was, the good thing about induction is you know when everything's happening. You know what everything is. You know what every movement is. You know what every contraction is. You know exactly how far along you are. Um, whereas obviously if you go into labor naturally, one, you have no idea when it's gonna happen. And two, you don't necessarily know if it's false labor or anything like that, which does slightly terrify me. I'm slightly nervous that I'm not going to actually know when I'm in labour, which is stupid because I know I will. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I have an appointment in a couple of weeks with them to see if I'm going to be induced or not. And if I am induced, I will probably be induced again at 38 weeks, which I'm really hoping doesn't... I don't know. I don't... I'm, as long as the baby's here happy and healthy, I really don't mind how they get here. Um, like, that is all that matters to me. But I would also like it to be the least traumatic event of my life because Anita's... Although at the time was not as traumatic, the after of her birth was rather traumatic. I was in hospital for five days. It wasn't great. I didn't enjoy it. Um, so I'm really trying to avoid that this time and just have a chilled experience. Anyway, long story short, I might be going to labor even earlier than 40 weeks. So I really need to start sorting my shit out. 